Six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Atlas V and Noah's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather-watching eye in the sky, to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its plan. T minus, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. 2, 1, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with Aft Space 11 from the United States Air Force. Across all five SRVs. PU's gone to closed loop control. Now passing 20 seconds into flight. Continue to see good pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180. 30 seconds in. And vehicle's now passing Mach 1. SRV chamber pressure continues to look good across all five SRVs. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Q, Moore providing launch pressure. vehicle ascent data. And pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Uh, SRB chamber pressure is also looking good. Now passing one minute into flight. And the launch vehicle is now nine, um, correction, 11 miles in altitude, seven miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. And we should be expecting SRV burnout momentarily. Chamber pressures on the SRV is tailing off. And we have burnout on all five SRVs. One minute, 40 seconds into flight. RD-180. Pump speeds and injector pressures look good in uh, full thrust mode. And we have good jettison of all five SRBs. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. <clears throat> now passing two minutes into flight, Mach 5. And pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Vehicle is now 40 miles in altitude, 55 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on a decade-long voyage to visit the planet Pluto and then beyond.
Status check. Proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems propulsion. Go. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Sippers. And the launch team has given the go for launch. Four, three, two. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the fourth space-based infrared system for the United States Air Force. Go Centaur. Go Insight. Five, four, three, two, zero. The liftoff of the Atlas V. Launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast. And NASA's Insight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. Rates continue to look good. Close loop guidance has begun. And we have indication of payload for jettison. Looks like a good step. 
and the payload fairing that was encapsulating the inside spacecraft has been jettisoned. That confirmation of spacecraft separation. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. Tedris M securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. Yaw maneuver is steered to its planned path at an inclination of 26.2 degrees. We're hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Patrick is the United Launch Alliance Denver Network Operations Center and Command well. Control Center. Pump speeds and injector pressures all looking good. Now Reading the data coming directly from the rocket. Flight. The Atlas rocket carrying Tetris uh, M will reach supersonic control. speed at 1 minute and 20 seconds into flight. Now passing 1 minute into flight. The vehicle is now 3 miles in altitude and traveling at 1100 miles per hour. Standing by for max Q or now maximum passing one minute dynamic pressure seconds into a minute and 32 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the and atmosphere. The RD 180 is throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. This engine thrust profile will continue until the vehicle reaches a program 5G acceleration limit. About two minutes into the flight and of Atlas. Now passing two minutes into flight, approximately two minutes remaining in the first stage of flight. Vehicle trajectory traveling right down the middle of the range track looking good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also looking good. Booster engine cutoff slated for four minutes, two seconds after launch. The Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,600 pounds per second. And vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. It's 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus. With supplies for the crew, experiments for the science. Good. Party 180 is performing well. Pumps. 
speeds and ejector pressures within bound. Booster has throttled back, right on schedule, engine response looks good. Current altitude is 12 miles, downrange distance 7 miles, current velocity 2,057 miles per hour. Range track looks good, controlling right down the middle. Booster is now flying Alpha bias steering, body rates look good. Vehicle is now one half its liftoff weight, continuing to perform well. Closed loop steering has been enabled. Body rates continue to look very good. RCS pyro valve has been fired. Systems now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Loose space chill down is complete, and we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. We have stage separation. We have Go LO2. Go Starliner. Execute visor configuration. Starliner visor closed. All steps are complete prior to terminal count. Staple at step three. Rock report range status. Range green. Mission director. This is the mission director. You have permission to launch. Three, two, one. We have RD-180 ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. Boosters record the MLP. Make sure our roll program has begun. SRB chamber pressures have plateau. Looking for burnout momentarily. And SRBs have burned out. And we have jettisoned the SRBs at this time. And we have Beco. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. GM2 purge fire into the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust in the RL10. And we have spacecraft separation. In just a few minutes, you'll be docking with the International Space Station. From here, you'll be able to spend time looking back at our planet, our home, from almost 250 miles away. Only a few hundred people have been to space so far, but that number won't remain small for long. Thanks to the Starliner, space soon will become a destination for many, many more. It's great to be here, Station. See you soon. Congratulations, you stuck the docking. Stay for a day, stay for a week, or stay for a few months. Your Starliner capsule will be here to take you home. For now, remember, the sky is not the limit.